The story begins on a rainy night in Gotham as Batman corners the Joker and his henchmen aboard a city rooftop. Going to capture the criminal, Batman lunged at the Joker, only for the dude to say he was too slow and effortlessly got out of the way. This blunder would soon turn fatal as Batman would then face plant onto the roof where the clown would mock him for his clumsiness. Casually waiting for the hero to get back up, the Joker and his men would watch in horror as the man's body would then slip off the roof and plummet into the streets below. Rushing down to the scene, Joker would order for his goons to check if the Dark Knight was unconscious, when in reality, Batman had unlocked infinite unconsciousness and was indeed dead. Completely confused that such a legend could die in such a moronic way, the men then asked the boss what they should do, where he told them to put Batman's body in the trunk of their car, only to remember that they took the train here, where he then ordered them to steal a car so they could put the body in it. Debating on what to do next, Joker, his men, and Batman's bloodied corpse then decided to take a load off by grabbing some grub at a local Waffle House. Realizing that this may have been the biggest score of their lives, the goons aimed for higher goals such as killing iconic Justice League members like Green Lantern and Superman. While they were quite enthusiastic with this new lease on life, Joker seemed less than pleased despite having killed the entire restaurant staff. Honestly, for anyone who's been to a Waffle House at like 2am, this is probably not even the craziest thing you'd see.